What's up guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video and today I'm wearing the exact same green hoodie as in the last video. <laughs> I got this from Walmart, it's actually pretty cozy and uh, you know, it, it helps me get my work done. It's getting a little chilly out right now so uh, it just works out. So we are heading down right now to my dad's place and we're gonna start working on the 7 Series. I've been trying to get some work done on this car for the longest time, ever since we got the truck. I've been a little, I've been a little busy on that because if we can get the truck to work, literally we can pick up the next build, we can get up more parts, we can just make every life would just be so much easier like right now you guys know in the last truck video uh it needed a new rear end and i'm like okay how am i gonna get a rear a rear end for a truck if my truck is down like i need a truck to go get that rear end so i had to pay them for a delivery fee and all that stuff i just cannot wait to stop paying for towing charges for delivery fees on car parts once we can get the truck operational it's gonna be so 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 convenient but yeah as for now the goal of today like you guys see in the thumbnail is to perfect the front bumper so we have so many things to get this bumper together we got to put on all the sensors we have to put the, the brackets on there which is easier said than done because we're reusing brackets so we're not buying new brackets we have to put on the side markers we're gonna have to put on the grills wrap the front bumper obviously um take it off obviously sand it down and then on top of all that we're also going to be replacing the, the air temperature sensor because uh it's 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 reading now so the, the wiring works but it's reading as right now 29 fahrenheit and it is not 29 fahrenheit so, so yeah hoping the air temperature sensor is going to work hoping the front bumper is going to come together with the grills and everything so it looks so 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 good i just want the car to fully come together oh yeah and on top of that we did get wheel guards so we can throw in the wheel guard so it'll really complete the whole car it doesn't look like the car has any loose end and uh, obviously yeah we got the fog lights as well yeah we got literally everything for the front bumper so today is gonna be a jam-packed video it's gonna be a satisfying video of literally perfecting the front bumper i think we're just missing the center grill not a big deal but other than the center grill we should have everything else let's get home and just get right into it All right, guys, so after taking this off, which is where the temperature air sensor actually went into, actually right over here, uh, this is the one that was currently in the car. I do have two other ones. So let's go ahead and just try to test these out and see if we get any better numbers. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. These both look like aftermarket ones, so it doesn't really look like it matters which one we use, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one just because it looks newer. If it's gonna read any different right off the bat, but let's go ahead and just see if it reads any differently. I would be so happy. All right, moment of truth, guys. All right, still says plus 30. That's with the new sensoring. It always said plus 30, so uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know if this sensor thing is gonna get fixed, but um, maybe that will adjust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that sensor in because it is a different sensor and uh, just hope for the best. Maybe you just need some calibration, but as long as it's reading, it's good. It does look like we can actually support this bracket thing down here, this little air duct by putting a screw down there. So let's go ahead and put a screw in there just so we make sure this actually stays where it needs to stay. Uh, we went ahead and plugged that in. Um, this is gonna be for the fog light once we actually plug in the fog light. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get a screw in there. New sensor in. We finally got a screw that's holding this thing in place. Bada bing, bada bang. So the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and fix the PDC sensor. I finally properly have what it takes to repair this. I have these little heat shrink things which you guys have been recommending and I do have the solder. So let's go ahead, uh, strip these down, solder them together and use some heat shrink. I think that's gonna be perfect. This should make this thing more of a permanent fix and then our, uh, our PDC sensors will finally work. <laughs> saved you guys the trouble from literally watching me do all this so many wires were cut from like every single angle like look how many i did this took me roughly like an hour just to kind of see where the wires go and everything too because some actually go into like where this like i think this is where the power is where it all merges i'm not sure i'm not i don't know anything to do with elect uh, electrician work but as you guys can see it was cut from two different parts 
So uh, I basically wired it from common sense. I'm hoping that's how this works. This one I forgot to put a little guard on it, but as you can see, I also put on the, the good stuff. Anywho, this harness is pretty much complete, ready to go. Uh, let's see what we gotta do next. So at this point, this garage is looking like an absolute mess. We have so many parts out for this bumper. Again, there's so many things to put this bumper fully together. Um, let's go ahead and sand it all the way down. Um, and then I guess we'll knock out other things like putting on the sensor brackets and the sensors. Let's just go ahead and first thing, just knock out the sanding because this bumper is just in horrific, horrific shape. Just take a look at it. It is legit raining hail or something right now. <laughs> well, technically I'm wet sanding at the same time now. Let's go ahead and get a higher grit. That was a 60 grit, sanded the whole thing down. Let's go ahead and go with like maybe a uh, three or 400, maybe even 600 grit. to put on all the PDC sensor brackets onto this bumper and then after that we're also need to put on the side markers onto the bumper and the grills and the actually the fog lights we can wait the grills we can wait but we need to put that on because we're wrapping over it and since we're wrapping over the sensors as well um, they'll still work but we just want to wrap over them because it, it, it's a different color we need to put in the sensor brackets sensors and these little side things real quick so uh it actually gives the bumper also some time to dry it was super weird like when I needed to sand the bumper that it started raining so help me like wet sand it and then as soon as I need to dry it, it stopped raining so I was able to dry it outside. It was really interesting, but anywho, uh, worked out to my uh, to my advantage. Let's go ahead and just flip the bumper over and get to work. Just like that guys, we have this piece in, we have the two fog lights in. I actually have the fog light bracket for this side, it actually came with the bumper. The other side I had to put a zip tie because it didn't come with the, the fog light bracket. I'm probably actually gonna fix these as well, probably down the road, but we also, looks like we're missing a piece here. I didn't know that was a separate piece right there. And then we're missing the main grill piece that goes right here, honestly. We'll see how this looks on the car. If it looks terrible, then uh, we'll need to order it. But I mean, I think this looks pretty cool. We'll see how that goes. I do need to order these for sure, for sure. Um, those are coming in the mail, like literally today or tomorrow, they should come in. Uh, but we also have the two big grills. We put in all the sensors. We fixed the wiring. We have the fog lights. We have the grills. We have the side markers. So uh, let's go in and slap this bumper on the car. And then hopefully if you have time, we can also put in those wheel guards. I wanna put in those wheel guards and I also want to. That's gonna really make this car come together. And also guys, the air temperature sensor did change when 
I went out on a little bit of a drive, it went up to 50, like it just jumped up to 50. It's never been at 50. So hopefully that temp air temperature sensor is pretty good and uh, it should fix our air temperature sensor issue. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get the 7 Series inside and uh, go ahead and slap on this beautiful, beautiful bumper. Just finished this wheel guard, so that is good to go. This little flap is supposed to be there. Unfortunately, I don't have that, but it's not a big deal. At least all this, the rest of it is covered up. We plugged in the fog lamps, we plugged in the PDC sensors. Everything is hooked up. Again, the bumper is a little dirty. I've been touching it a lot. But anyhow, we do need this little guy. This guy is coming in the mail, and then uh, we need that center grill. Honestly, the center grill doesn't look too bad. It looks like an aftermarket thing, but we do need this piece. That piece just looks so bad, so we need to order that piece. But anyhow, we are done with this side. Let's go ahead and work on the other side. Now that I have both wheel guards installed, let's go ahead and lower the car. Moment of truth. Oh, buddy. And guys, oh my God. We finally, finally, finally finished wrapping the front bumper. We got most of the things on the front bumper. We put it in both wheel guards now. So literally, it doesn't look like the car has really been in an accident or missing anything. It's fully blacked out now with the black wheels, the blacked out turn signals, the blacked out grills. Now we just need to black out the tray, maybe even get some tinted windows, but it's really, really, really coming together. In terms of mechanical, there's no more leaks, thankfully. Um, we just have to figure out the transmission issue, which we'll hopefully be fixing in the next video or in the video after the next video. Video. In a little bit, we're gonna actually get working on this. It's gonna be tomorrow, but the same video, hopefully. My brother's actually rewrapping this little piece right here I picked off from the, the donor car from Copart, I mean, pick and pull. So uh, he's actually scraping off all the plastic dip, and uh, long story short, <sighs> he's been working at it for a long time. So shout out to my brother. He's been working for at least an hour now. So uh, he's been scraping on that. I'll show you guys what that piece is exactly. Every little thing on this car, guys, is just messed up. So I don't know if you guys can see. Again, we're just caring about the details. This thing's kind of like busting out hold on let me see you guys eh, right there i don't know if you guys can see it but it's kind of like coming out so uh, we want to rewrap this thing and just make sure that every little detail is coming together on this car so my brother's working on that hopefully we're going to start working on this tomorrow so i'll catch you guys tomorrow welcome back guys this is day two so uh, we are heading back to my dad's place and we're going to finish up wrapping a few more things we're going to finish up cleaning up the windows um so as of right now uh we did replace the air temperature sensor and i just wanted to show you guys right there that it is saying plus 59 which is the exact temperature of right now so i'm super 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 happy about that air temperature sensor working we are literally almost getting everything to work on this car other than the transmission issue like literally this would be a clean dash otherwise so we are going to be meeting up with showman once again we have the new part and uh, hopefully he'll help us get the transmission thing situated and hopefully it, the transmission will stop acting all finicky it's been acting weirder and weirder every single day so uh, the code is throwing for that exact sensor hopefully we'll replace that sensor i've never seen anybody do it on youtube not a single video so it's something that we're gonna have to tackle on our own and hope for the best here and shout out to showman for even wanting to tackle this with me because uh it's a process for sure. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head home and uh, start working on the 7 Series. We're going to try to fully murder this thing out. Now that we are back at my dad's house, the car also needs a really good wash. It's been literally just collecting dirt. So we're going to wash the car as well. But I don't know if you guys can see, this window has so many water stains. A lot of you guys have been asking pretty much how I've been cleaning this up. And uh, it's a simple, simple little trick. It's just some steel wool. All you need is some, I think, I think it's called some steel wool, whatever the heck this is. Show me, show me how to pretty much do it. Basically just spray some water on there, some quick detailer, and just scrape it on there and it comes off. That's how I got it off this window. Uh, psych, the window's down. <laughs> but uh, basically how I got it off of that, how I got off of this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it on all four windows again um, and actually wrap these two in gloss black, wrap this in gloss black, this in gloss black, this and this. We're gonna be wrapping as much things as we can, even possibly this. I want everything to match, I want everything to look super clean. 
game. And we're also gonna be clay barring the roof and the clay barring this. I want the car to aesthetically look really, really, really good. Um, as for these things, they actually said it, uh, that it's coming in the mail today. So um, if I have time, I'm gonna take a heat gun with me to my other place, heat them on, and I uh, put them in there. So at least we have both of those as well. But yeah, guys, the car is finally coming together. We have no lights on the dash other than the transmission at this point. So uh, hopefully we get this transmission thing situated. We fully saved a beautiful, beautiful FO2 740 Li N54 7 Series. I am excited, boys. And just like that, guys, look at the roof. So much cleaner. That's why I didn't want to wrap the roof because the roof was in perfect shape. Even these little trim pieces here, I want to kind of keep these original black. And for those of you guys who have ever wrapped the car, you guys knowing that wrapping around this is no fun. So I decided, you know what? It's just this black. Might as well keep it the original. And guys, look how good that is. Like the roof is actually in really good shape. After some clay barring, a little bit of quick detailing, it came out really good. At this point, let's go ahead and pretty much just uh, clay bar these little trim pieces here all the way around this, this, this. Um, that as well and this as well and just get all that ready for some wrapping I go ahead and show you guys the full car when it's 100% clean, but yeah, this is the gloss trim. I don't think a gloss trim up here is gonna look good. This is why they actually have it matte from the first place. Um, just mine is really scuffed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it with some satin black. It looks exactly identical, but it looks like original. Look how good that came out. That looked almost like, this looks like as if you wouldn't even know there was even wrap over it. And they went ahead and wrapped this as well. I think that came out really, really, really good. So, uh, so this is gonna be gloss, satin, gloss, Satin. Let's go ahead and knock out this side, see how it looks, and then also clean up these windows because they have so, so many water stains. And just like that, guys, both these windows are officially wrapped. We have all this in gloss black, which actually came out really, really, really good. I think we did an absolutely great job. Um, as for these two, we went ahead and just wrapped them in this kind of like a satin finish. It honestly came out amazing. I didn't really think about it, even this one as well. Like if you guys look at this one, this is slightly beat up. Like I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like some paint fade there. And on these ones, there's some fade right here. Like it just outdates the car. So obviously when you rewrap these, it makes the car look a lot newer. Like if you guys look at this side and you guys see the window, all the water stains and everything, we actually cleaned that up on the other side as well. And looking at this side, like, I mean obviously this, we gotta wash the car. But looking at this, I look at the windows all cleaned up now. Uh, all this has been rewrapped, window trim and everything. This car is really coming together. I'm super, super happy about this. I will have a full price breakdown of how much it costs us to actually fix this thing up, but I'm just super happy that it doesn't have any loose ends. We finally got the wheel guards in there as well. The bumper, everything's wrapped together. You guys will see this in three, two, one. And just like that, guys, we finally got this rear trim piece that doesn't poke out. But even this side, guys, we finally have all the window trim. These two guys, that little thing. 
So uh, yeah, it's really coming together. Again, it just needs a really good wash. There's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of dirt like in between the seams. I don't know if you guys can see all that, but yeah. Without further ado, I do want to wrap those two little front pieces, but unfortunately, um, that's pretty much gonna have to conclude it. I'm gonna head back home. I think this is a pretty jam-packed video, but hopefully in the next video, we're gonna be working on the transmission. This is the part that's supposedly supposed to fix our transmission, hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed, guys. I mean, I've been ordering a lot of things that hypothetically should fix the transmission, but I think this is it because the code is throwing for this little guy right here. So we're gonna be heading down to Showman's hopefully on Monday to get that fixed. We have a new axle and a bunch of things coming in for the truck, so that should be a video on it pretty soon. By the time this video goes up, guys, we do have a lot of parts also that I got from another donor vehicle. So we have a bunch of things here from M Sport to just navigation systems to tail lights, a bunch of things that I'm selling it for pretty much super, super, super cheap. I got these from Pick and Pull and I'm just gonna be up pricing it just a little bit, but I'm also throwing in merch. So then kind of compensate for that if you guys pretty much want to check it out. All those purchases are gonna be supporting this build and the next build. The plaques are being made also for the 7 Series and the M4. Um, we are officially painting the garage next week. So as soon as we paint the garage, all the YouTube plaques are going up and uh, everyone that has ever contributed to the channel will be on the wall and hopefully for the 7 Series and the M4 also gonna be on the wall. So without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.